The beauty of this building is there's a pet project of my partner, Amy, has been mine for years in, in design to try and get a building that would heat itself all year round without any input at all, other than the sun. And this is quite an interesting task in, in Northern Wisconsin. So with this kind of design, you start from the ground up and we call our little place Sun Farm. And, and, and so we wanted to do a high mass in for radiant solar greenhouse so that it could hold enough heat to get through the tough months. The soil type we have is a very hard clay. So you had to start by getting a fan lift, get some drainage, but then we put a large insulated box on top of the sand lift in which we put all this heat tubing that we are going to attach the solar array to. And so once the entire thing mass was put together and insulated and the tubing was in it, then we laid in a bunch of sand on top of that and then poured a five inch slab with a very, very substantial grade beam and, and center beam to hold a lot of mass because what we've done is we built a, a stone wall up 10 and a half feet high, one foot thick, running east and west here through the middle of the, the building. And people who are familiar with passive solar design, that's known as a throm or a trombi wall, depending on how you pronounce throm. And the throm wall is a big element of the passive part of the design. 